But let's let's move on to the next question from Superwise, and this is about the Batman. So, what villains would you like to see in the next in the Matt Reeves Batman universe? I want to see uh, Man Bat, Clayface, and Mister Freeze specifically. I like Giancarlo Esposito as a choice for Mister Freeze, and for Joker, I could see maybe Rami Malek in the role. Uh, I also want. Uh, I also want to f- finally see a Joker who can truly fight hand to hand with Batman, like in the 2015 cartoon. That'd be great. Oh, sorry, 2005 cartoon. Uh, thoughts slash casting on Joker as well. That is a fantastic question. Thank you so much for putting that in as well. I think the villains that you've listed are great choices. Um, Clayface, Man Bat, Mister Freeze are not um, are not villains that have been explored recently. And I, I'm talking about like post. Batman and Robin, um, because obviously, like you had the Joker and you had the, the Penguin and the Riddler and Two Face, but they've been redone in the more modern, gritty era ever since. And I wanted to list out—I was just curious to see how many of Batman's like iconic villains have um, have already been been you know portrayed in the Nolan um, franchise, and how many more will be added in the Matt Reeves franchise, even just in the first film. And it's actually surprisingly almost all of the all of the main Batman villains have been have been done and will be done um, so far. So obviously for for Nolan Reeves, you have Scarecrow in the first film. You have Ra's al Ghul, Joker, Two Face, Bane, um, and then in in the Matt Reeves Batman film, you have the Riddler and Penguin. And I believe that's it. I could be missing um, one or two. So obviously one that comes to mind is is Mister Freeze. Um, I think that you know Arnold Schwarzenegger, notwithstanding that this is a good it's a tricky villain to do without being too campy. That being said, you know, Matt Reeves has found a way to make, um, um, the Riddler not so campy. And I, am sure there are darker versions of the characters that, that they can tap into as well. So that's a great, that's a great one. Um, another one that came to mind is maybe Poison Ivy. Although I, I think that DC kind of wants to do Poison Ivy more with Harley Quinn. So maybe not. Honestly though, if I had to go and I'll get to the Joker in just a second, because I think Matt Reeves will attack, tackle the Joker. I think, if you're going to do a Batman trilogy, you have to tackle the Joker at one point or the other. Um, and I think it was even hinted at in the trailer with those guys wearing the face paint. Um, but one character that I think just as a fan would be really interesting to see against Batman is Deathstroke. Um, I think that that would have been the original plan in Ben Affleck's Batman movie. Um, he would he would have been gone through, gone through Arkham Asylum fighting all the criminals and then Deathstroke being the villain. I, I think that you know, Joe Manganiello or not, I think Deathstroke would be just such an interesting foil to Batman that we haven't seen before. Um, and honestly, that's something that I want to see um, in, a, in another Batman film is like characters that we are, are just different from the ones like I don't want to see Bane again, because we saw it in Tom Hardy. I don't really want to see. Um, I mean, I'm talking about specifically in the Matt Reeves universe, like the Batman solo universe, you can put Bane in whatever you want else or, or whatever. Um, but we haven't seen like the Riddler before in this kind of um, not the Jim Carrey iteration, but like a gritty Riddler. So I think Deathstroke, you know, whether or not it's going to be Joe Manganiello, it's not going to be in the Matt Reeves universe, but I would be more than, more than happy to see him as well. Now in terms of the Joker, um, I think Rami Malek is an excellent choice. It's not one that I thought of before, but I think that he has the gravitas and he has the, just the creepiness if he wants to channel that vibe and, and just the, the, the cleverness, the, the intelligence um, that he could pull it off. I, I also think this is kind of cheating because he also played a clown before and he was very good as a clown, but Bill Skarsgård is another name that comes to mind as well. I think Bill Skarsgård could do an excellent job as the Joker, but again, it, it depends on what direction you want to go, um, with the Joker. I think there are versions of the Joker that are more campy, that are goofier. There, there's Jared Leto. I don't know what he was doing, but, you know, he exists as well. I, I just think that, if you put if you put Rami Malek or if you put Bill Skarsgård in there, I would be more than happy. If you put an unknown in there who who does a great job, I would also be more than happy as well.